Good evening YouTube and welcome back to the Green Hawks Hobby Share with myself, Yoda Darkside and the one like the Taylor. Um, where were we tonight? Project Tube Box Taylor. Now those of you might be remember back in the autumn, during the war, back in the autumn we proposed we were going to do a YouTube community custom lunchbox body shell. Um, I slightly underestimated how long the sticker process would take. <laughs> where are we now? April. <laughs> yeah, six months down the line. Um, these stickers took a long time to get in. Uh, obviously, sending stickers and receiving stickers from pretty much all around the globe was not quite as straightforward as we expected. Um, we You're had... saying our postal service is crap? Well, I'll tell you what, it's, <laughs> it's made me realise quite how bad the postal service is. I mean, Canada has been particularly bad. Some of the channels we have sent three lots to, and as far as I'm aware, people like Fast Freddy still haven't even received theirs yet. Ridiculous. So, but anyway, we've got all the stickers in. I had a few rainy days last month where I built the lunchbox, check the last video, um, and now she's complete. We've got all the stickers on that we've received. Um, yeah, basically, this is the presentation tonight. Now, we've got her underneath the um, Taylor's lovely towel here. What's, what's that all about? <laughs> that is one of these soft Dunhill mill. Really? Yeah. It's like a piece of cardboard. Yeah. Anyway, so um, yeah, we're going to present the uh, final finished project chew box. So, um, am I going to. Yeah. Gonna, are you going to do a drum roll, Taylor? I can. Yeah. What's this? This ain't my lunchbox. What have you oh. done? <laughs> oh. This ain't put. No, don't even think of it. You'll blow us up. That's a that's firework. A... What have you done with my lunchbox? Oh. This was supposed to be the big reveal. I put the wrong one under there. I put the wrong one. <laughs> Oh. Come on, we're supposed to be professional. There's me trying to make a nice professional intro. Sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's try that again. Are we are we taking that back from the start or are we still rolling? Ah, crack on. Right, do you want your towel? Yeah, no, Mrs. is going mad. Right, now yeah, I'll hold that for the dead cat. No, he's totally done me up there. Introducing Project Chew Box. Okay, now is that in shot? Yeah. What do you think, guys? I mean, I am actually really happy with this. It wasn't an easy challenge, having so many different styles and shapes and textures and colours of stickers, trying to get them all to fit with, within the lines and the style of the actual lunchbox shell <coughs> was not an easy job. Um, I do apologise, I've had to butcher some people's stickers to get them to fit. Uh, you oh, no good at art when you're younger. What do you it? mean? Well, we're going to see your one after this, aren't we? Uh, so anyway, I basically use whatever stickers I can get and try to fit them in as the positions as best as possible. Let's go around it. Shall so we? let's have a look. Let's give them all a shout out well, as they can see. Yeah. It. So basically, like I say, there's no favouritism here. Some people have got more than one sticker. Others <gasps> got only one. You can't do that. No, it's literally using the space available with the stickers I've got. Oh, you terrible. So anyway, first. Right, come on. Here we go. What we got? Poor boys, RC. Big shout to Phil. Look at that. I love his um, side sticker there. That looks really cool. We've also got a Poor Boys RC one on the roof there. Can you see that? Yeah. Nice little boxes. shiny, shiny one. Then we go over to Adam's Playground, the best beard on YouTube. We've got that one there. Oh, you ain't seen mine yet. Oh, that. yours is a mess. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Cheers. Yours looks like Barbara's Beaver. <laughs> Cheers. And of course, we can't have a CW one without... Peter Smith CW1 creations from the sun visor across the front. Do you, as you remember the sun visors back in the 80s and the 90s, it used to have across your windscreen of your cars. You remember like No Fear and stuff yeah. like that. Um, what's the other one? On a Mission. Do you remember them? Yeah, or well, your the girlfriend just dating yeah. their name. <laughs> Bob and Jan or whatever. So I actually used to have one on my old Mini when I was 17. James and Steve. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have one on my Mini. It said Mission Aborted, gone for a spliff. And then I wonder why I got pulled over every night then by the old girl. Class. So anyway, at the front, the mighty Mark Bryan. So we've got him on the front there. Let's go around to the side, shall we? Uh, all Fun RC, that's Trey. We've got Trey, big shout out to Trey there. So Riviera RC, that's Glenn over there. I mean, look at them stickers. I mean, we love those uh, ones with the palm trees. They fit so nicely on the doors there. We've got the YouTube emblem, obviously. TikTok isn't it on the side there on the lower bit? No, uh, it's Instagram. Instagram, isn't it? yeah. Bloody I'm, TikTok. I'm, I'm, I'm not with all oh, you youngsters. Absolute dinosaur. On the like. rear end, how good is that? The mighty RC so and so. That sticker was designed for the rear doors of a lunchbox. It fitted perfectly on each door. Uh, I didn't even have to cut it to size. It's almost like they designed that intentionally, although they said they hadn't. What a lucky coincidence. Nice little shiny one from Trey again, all fun RC on the back there. 
Vanessa's custom number plate. As we go around to the other side, once again, mighty RC so-and-so. RC birds, big shout going out to Dirk. So I'm afraid I've had to butcher your oh, sticker look, a bit there, Dirk. Some, some funny channel called Greenhawks RC. I'm not that familiar with them. We'll, we'll skip over them. They're a bunch of cowboys. Uh, Thompson RC. Um, once again, sorry, I had to butcher your sticker a little bit there. It is all there, just in certain different sections throughout the whole body. But I thought that worked quite well over the wheel arch there. So, um, Meredith, big shout to the mighty Meredith. Great to see her looking so well and so happy in Trey's last video. Um, you're doing well, girl. Keep it up. OAG. Craig, big shout going out to Craig. Now, Craig had a special request. He didn't want his sticker put on the front of the lunchbox. Something to do with my bad driving. So, oh, that um, don't surprise me. Craig, I'm a man of my word. I've put it on the side where it's nice and safe. That so. means it'll see less curbs. <laughs> Let's go. We're not going to go down that one, mate. So, oh, look, there's TikTok. Look. Yeah, there's TikTok on the side. We've got, obviously, oh. Vibrant Vanny on the front. So, yeah, that is Project Chew Box. Um... What do you think, guys and girls? Hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think. There is more stickers left over. Now, what we're going to do with the remaining stickers, Taylor's lunchbox is in a bit of a bad way, as a lot of you might have seen from our videos. Now, Taylor's going to build a second shell in the metallic green, and he's going to use the remainder of the stickers, which will then be featured in a lot of our videos up and coming, the running ones over the summer. So um, that's going to look quite good. So that's down to Taylor. This is my attempt. Taylor's one will be coming soon. Regards to the rest of the lunchbox, better than yours. we've got a vintage Technigold motor in there. Can you see that, Taylor? Can you can you see that? Yeah. Nice little vintage Technigold. And when it was finished, I sat there looking at it for a while. I thought to myself, there's something I don't like. It's something not right. Then it hit me. It was the wheels. Now, being a black edition lunchbox kit, the wheels were black, the tyres were black, the chassis was black. Against all this blingy body, it didn't look right. So anyway, I got on to... Um, eBay started looking up. My mind was set on a set of Chrome Edition lunchbox, uh, midnight pumpkin wheels. So I started looking up. Then I went down the rabbit hole as you often do on um, on eBay, and I found this set of Monster Beetle wheels and tyres. And I thought, you know, that might just work. And I really like that. I think the gold against the chrome and the metallic green paintwork really sets it off nice. It gives it a nice, nice different look. And not only that, it also gives me opportunity then to convert the friction pogos to gold anodized dampers at a later date and i'm also going to get a gold anodized motor mount so um i think that's gonna that's gonna finish it off nicely so i'm um, not like say let us know what you think in the comments um i'm happy with it so um this one's gonna be more of a display box for our videos in the background taylor's gonna be building the runner so that's pretty much project chew box sorted yeah you yeah. happy with that taylor yeah that's so, good once again thank you so much for everyone that's sending your stickers they're all great channels what we're going to do is we're going to put a link up in the description of the video to all the different channels that are contributed now if you're not familiar with any of them get yourself over to them watch some of their videos give them a thumbs up give them a subscription they're all awesome channels a nice variety of content they've all got their own style i watch all of their videos can't recommend them enough so let's give them some love eh? and uh, particularly craig from the oag because he's up to 900 25 subs now and he's not far off that thousand so if you're not subscribed to craig get on there give him a subscription very good channel so and he's and they've all supported us for a long time now we've had a lot of support from a lot of these channels so we appreciate all that cool is that scratch you need a bit of tea cut no on there. craig's head's coming off no way it's on the seam there i've had to cut that down so we've got a little bit of lift there oh. might need lacquering but i'm a bit concerned if i put lacquer over it might react with some of the stickers oh. Dear. So there you go. Anyway, in the meantime, the other projects I've been working on, as you all know, the winter has been appalling this year. It's been a really wet, windy winter. Very damp, very dark. So I've been working on my runners throughout the last few months. I've serviced the Phaser Mark II, stripped it down, serviced it all. I've done a full service on the Porsche 959 runner. And the Monster Beetle was in a bit of a bad way. This car, this car got abused last Isn't summer. It? So I've done a lot of modifications to this. I've stripped it all back. I've rebuilt the MIP ball diff. I've had the, the Superstock BZ motor out. Now I've stripped that down. I've cleaned it all up. I've cleaned the commutator with an eraser. I've put new brushes in. I've replaced the bushes with bearings because we all know Tamiya don't like using bearings, do they? So, um, so we've now got proper bearings in it. That's all been serviced. I noticed it was getting a bit bouncy. So, it's still a bit bouncy. So anyway, I had the shocks apart. There's hardly no oil left in them. 
But what was left in them was a grey, bubbly, grimy colour. So they've all been cleaned up and serviced. They're running nice and smooth now. New, fresh, soft oil, because the springs themselves are quite quite hard in these. So they're running lovely now. Uh, steering servo saver, I've replaced that because there was more slop in that than Barbara's Beaver. Mark will know all about that Who's one. Who's Barbara? Bar Barbara's Beaver. You, know you keep going on about Barbara Mark, and her Beaver. Mark Bryant's Barbara's Beaver. Oh. Sloppy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you need to catch up on your videos, mate. Oh. So, so anyway, we've got a new servo saver on there. Like 1990 porn <laughs> site. Well, I don't know nothing about that. What else have we done to this? We've um, LEDs. Can you, can you dim the lights, Taylor? Well, I can't dim them, but I can turn them off. Turn them off. We've now got LEDs on the Monster Beetle for when we go around the figure of eight Tesco's track. I don't know where that's going to come out on camera, but she's all lighted up now. Yeah. Oh, dodgy oh. connection in the battery. So, yes, we've got, we've got lights working now as well. Finally, on the Monster Beetle, someone's stupid idea when they re-released the Monster Beetle was to remove the back window, which took away a lot of the structural integrity of the shell. That's so when you crash it, there's an escape route. Well, no, it's when you crash it that the body then splits. Oh. So I've made a roll cage for my Monster Beetle, which wraps around the higher, entire rear end of the car, and it works really well. It's stiffened it up. Why is that chicken wire? Yeah. Where did you rob that from? <laughs> Customer's garden. <laughs> so yeah, it's stiffened up the shell nice nicely, and I quite like the look. It's always got like that Mad Max sort of theme to it. So um, I've got a nice bit of roll, roll cage action in that now. So the Monster Beetle is running beautifully, ready for the, um, the next season of running videos which hopefully once the weather improves we had to get out so that's that one sorted another project i've been working on so if you're a customer of james's and you're missing some chicken wine <laughs> they're not going to be watching this well i hope they're not anyway mm. another project now i've got a bit of an issue <laughs> you are the issue taylor has been at the top of the figure of eight speed challenge now as you all know what do you mean has been still out for six months ah. his grasshopper one minute 49 seconds for eight laps I haven't been able to knock him off. Too many curbs around. This is Project Get Taylor Off The Top. I hate modern RC cars. I hate the cab forward design. He also uh, hates losing. <laughs> I hate losing. Mm. So anyway, I thought, right, to knock him off, I need a racing car. So this is my B6.2 Team Associated RC10. Modern car, obviously, like I say, I'm not keen on the looks of them, but I've got to admit, it's a lovely piece of engineering. The shocks, the drivetrain, the chassis, it is absolutely superb. I mean, them, the damping is lovely. Look at that. So this is my weapon of choice to try and knock Taylor off the top spot. So hopefully, we're going to get back out. As soon as we get a dry night, we're going to get up to the figure of eight. I'm going to attempt to break his record with this baby. Um, mumu has got a Blitzer Beetle once again. That hasn't been around the figure of eight yet, so we're going to get that round there. And I've recently rebuilt the Mustang that we uh, smashed up on oh, the she's, TTO2. She's up there in her night position. Yeah, on the time trials and the TTO2 um, time trials last year. That's now been rebuilt. So I'm going to take that round the figure of eight. Take, uh, Mumu's going to take her Blitzer Beetle and mm -hmm. Taylor's going to take the Mustang. So that's an episode of figure eight time trials Mustang. in the pipeline. Um, we've also got some planes, haven't we, Taylor? Yes, yeah, a few to go out now. This, hopefully, this summer. as soon as the wind drops, <laughs> we have now got a delightful Spitfire, which is a brand new plane of Taylor's to take out. And we have also got a cesspit. A no. cesspit. What's it? <laughs> Cessna. <laughs> Sorry, we've also got a Cessna. Yeah. Now we're going to try and get these planes out um, as soon as we get a bit of decent weather. We've um, also got a big black and grey yeah, red yeah. arrows one, but at 200 too, mile an hour, I'm too scared you're to fly. Too scared it. to fly that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, so, right, uh, so we're going to try and our plan is to take some of the smaller crafts up to the playing field and do a little bit of dog fighting. Not dogging, Taylor. That's something totally oh. different. So we're going to go and do a bit of dog fighting. Dogging. And we're maybe going to have a few little loop the loop challenges and try and do some stunts. So, well, let's um, try and get you to fly first. Well, yeah, yeah I'll be all right. I'll be yeah. all right. If so, it's anything like you're driving, it no, could take a while. There's no curbs up in the air. Well, that's true. No. And another little video idea we got. Now, I've been getting a lot of stick off late for my Wallace and Gromit, according to Mark Bryant, driver figures in my Porsche 959, late, that latest video on the Porsche 959 restoration. Now, I know they look demented. The eyes did look a little bit special. You had been on that. <laughs> You've been drinking too so, much of that, I think. Taylor seems to think he can do a better job of the driver figures than me. Yeah. So does Moo Moo. So I've proposed a challenge. 
We're going to get a video coming up soon. We're going to get three blank driver figures that have all been painted with the basic flesh and the, the basic white background. And we're going to do a live video where myself, Taylor and Moo Moo all paint our own driver figures. And we're going to put it down to you lot, the viewers, to vote for who you think is the best. That's going to be a fun video because mm. I'm looking forward to seeing what Taylor's going to look like. Anyone this... out there good at painting, send one to me. Green Ox <laughs> RC, I'll give you my address. Post one to me. Because this guy, trust me, his is going to be extremely entertaining. Mm. He thinks mine's bad. You wait till you see Taylor's. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty much brought you all up to date on the channel. I think we've pretty much covered everything the now. The old um... box still there, look. Yeah, the old police box. We need yeah. to get that again soon. So get that again. But um, yeah, so that's pretty again, much it. Thanks for everyone that supported us in the sticker project. We appreciate all the um, all the ongoing support from all of you that watch us regularly and tune in and sub. Hopefully, we can get a lot more running content up as soon as the summer improves. And um, like I say, do check out the link in the description to all the channels that are featured on Project Chew Box and um, give them some love. So drop um, us a subscription if you can. Yeah, we're struggling for suspic uh, sus suspicions. Come on, you Sus too much to drink, didn't you? <laughs> subscriptions. We're only at three hundred and fifteen. So if any of you are watching our videos, you do actually enjoy our content. Please yes. give us a um, sub. You know we're. We're slowly working away. I mean, we know we're not the most professional, but... Um, cool, you say that again. <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be nice to see a few more subs coming in anyway. So, uh, but if not, we're enjoying it anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Anything you need to add, Taylor? No, that's it. I'm all done. Good. I'm all there. Right then. Well, we'll see you all again soon. I'm going to let that firework off, shall we? Yeah, we're going to film that? Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's do it. Let's wind up the neighbours. Yeah, why not? Green Ox RC, Sign signing out. out. The body, riding high above the ground, is made from impact-resistant styrene plastic and is injection molded for the best detail. The metal-plated bumpers, grill, and side exhaust add to its overall customized looks. All that flat surface on the van body is like an artist canvas, allowing you to express your artistic talents. Even the headlights can be made to operate by installing the headlight set sold separately. What makes the lunchbox seem so tall are the semi-pneumatic 115 millimeter diameter monster tire with that earth-grabbing lug pattern tread. The suspension system uses an independent swing axle at front and a rolling rigid axle at the rear. Oil damp shocks can be quickly upgraded to oil units by installing the constant volume CVA shocks sold separately. The sturdy chassis frame is a one-piece box type that allows easy access to all mechanics for any maintenance chores.